yesterday I got approved for a place. Yay! I actually get my keys November 1st. So, um, I'm sorry. I just dropped Elias off at school, y'all. So, I'm driving. But I just want to update y'all. So, this is the start of a moving. I think I'm going to do like moving vlogs. Because, oh, because it's a lot. So, yes, just got approved for my place. I get the keys November 1st. Um, little backstory I have been staying with family for the last year. And, honey, it's been a time. So, I'm just grateful. I'm blessed, y'all. I've been praying so hard. I've been applying to places since, like, the beginning of August. I probably spent over $500 in just different application fees and stuff like that. But nonetheless, I'm blessed. I'm sorry, y'all, the son. I am blessed. I got my own place. Um, my kids don't know. So it's going to be a surprise for them as well. And I was just feeling so discouraged and, you know, just so unmotivated and everything. And I just had to really buckle down and realize what's for me, God will, what God will want me to have. He will give it to me if it's for me. So with that being said, and then also I was so determined on getting the three bedrooms so my kids could have their own room. And I was just like, you know, that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And I still want that. Um, what I got approved for was a two-bedroom. It's a townhome. Um, and what made me start applying to two bedrooms, like I said, I've been applying to places at the beginning of August. And I just wasn't, it wasn't that I wasn't getting approved. It was just that they would choose other candidates. Like, you know, so they was choosing other people or the house would just get gone. I apply on Monday, on Tuesday, the listing is down. So literally just wasting money, y'all. So it was just like a lot. Um, yeah, it was just like a lot. But yeah, that's why I was saying. I wanted a three bedroom and that's all I was applying for. But it was just like, you know, time was crunching down. We about to be in November. Time was just crunching down. And I just was just having mom guilt for having my kids share a room. And a few, I'm in this little um, mom group on Facebook. So I just like, you know, vented, just, you know, saying, should I be feeling guilty because my kids are two and six, boy, girl, like, should they be sharing a room? And they was just telling me like, you know, your kids don't really remember things like that. Like, you know, just take this as a stepping stone to build this up to what you want and don't feel guilty like they a lot of people on there was commenting saying that they share rooms with their siblings up until a senior in high school so it's just like i had to get out of that and not feel guilty um you know i asked mari is she okay sharing a room with her brother she like yeah the home girl just want her own place at this point and i feel you so and they was just like even if you only can afford a one bedroom like it don't matter as long as your kids grow up with love that's all they're gonna remember so i said you know what i'm about to start applying for two bedrooms and i think i applied like last week sometime maybe like wednesday i didn't think they was gonna approve me but they told me yesterday so today i'm just waiting on you know all the information and how much i gotta pay before i move in all that good stuff like that so yeah i just want to go ahead and open up this vlog so i'm gonna remember i'm gonna remind myself that i am vlogging that i'm vlogging um just wanted to update y'all let me run my window up dropping the kids off at school look at elias i just dropped mari off i should have showed y'all but i'm trying to keep this a secret and she kind of already know about us moving because she kids listen to you on that phone baby but yeah so i just dropped mari off it's picture day y'all she looks so cute i had to go to walmart this morning to get her um an outfit because i was just worried about her hair she goes to a school where they wear uniforms so i thought that you have to wear the uniforms they sent out an email yesterday saying that they don't have to wear uniforms so i'm like what is she gonna wear like she has winter clothes but nothing was like pictured so um i had to go to walmart this morning and get her some tights some boots and i found a nice sweater and then she already had like a jean skirt so cute y'all so cute it's giving fall but anyways this is what i came out here to tell y'all so remember yesterday i was telling y'all i got approved for a two-bedroom house why probably like 11 o'clock they called me saying what well, they they text me saying that i got approved but the the townhouse was gone someone else got it so i'm like 
because like I said, I've been looking for a place since like the end of July. Excuse me. So I'm just over there like, oh my gosh, like you know what I'm saying? So they they was like, hey, they they have another property um that was kinda no, I think it was like a hundred dollars cheaper. It was a two bed, one bath town. I think that was a town house as well. But it was on the other side of town and I didn't want to stay on the other side of town. Like I kind of wanted to stay on the side I'm on just cause like, you know, commuting to schools and stuff like that. So it was like, I was like, can I, I went on that site and I seen they had a three bedroom house. So I'm like, can I get approved for that one actually? So then they was like, um, I had to go view it. So I went and viewed it on my lunch, y'all. It was just so hectic, so hectic because I had went and viewed it on my lunch. I have to pick Elias up from school on my lunch and my lunch is only an hour. So it was just a lot that I had to do. So I viewed it, I liked it. Um, so they was like, they'll let me know if they can move, switch the property to that one. So I'm like, oh my goodness, because you know, obviously they don't hold properties like you know it's whoever gets it gets it so i'm over there stressed honey they text me probably about 3 30 saying that i was approved for the house and they can't hold it until i pay the security deposit i paid the security deposit probably like 30 minutes later so as far as i know it's mine y'all three bedroom house here it is i was just saying it's and it's crazy because God has a, a way of doing things. Like, I've been stressed this whole time. I want a three bedroom. I don't feel like it's fair for my kids to have to share a room. Just being, and I think it's also because when I grew up with a little brother, we're about three years apart too, and I never had to share a room with him. So I think it's just kinda how I want, you know how I was raised. So, but push if push comes to shove, I was just gonna have them share a room because you know, a lot of people said that's okay. Like, you know, it wasn't going to be a forever thing. So, Lord, they be stressing me out in this morning driving. So, um, nonetheless, oh, that's why I was saying how God got away with things. So, yeah, I've been stressed about having a two-bedroom. Every three-bedroom I had, it was either too expensive or it got gone quick. That's why I was telling y'all yesterday. And so, it's just here it is i was approved for a two bedroom i was thankful i was grateful i thank god so much and he let those plans fall through for the three bedroom price range good so it's just god has a way of things so sometimes you really just gotta buckle down and trust god and put all your faith into him so i just wanted to update y'all with that um I probably, I should I should have been vlogging yesterday when I went and toured it, but I was really just trying to make sure it's, it's legit, you know, everything was good as far as the living situation. I was really, I was, I won't think about nothing. I didn't even take no pictures of the place. So, I will probably show you guys the place. I'm, I don't know when I'll see it again. I'm probably going to be riding by, but, because it's mine. But yeah, I um next time I see the inside probably be when I get the keys. So I just keep y'all up to date with all the moving and everything like that and paying stuff. It's just a lot of money. But yeah, let me go because look at that one. Y'all have a good day. Bye. Hey y'all, back in the car again. <laughs> I don't know, but hey, at least I'm picking up the camera. I don't know why every time it's when I'm in the car. But we about to get out the car soon. So, I'm picking Mari up from school. I started packing today, just getting everything together. Oh, the sun got my eyes looking good. Yeah, starting packing and getting everything together. Um, All of our clothes, I've put, I'm getting rid of a, lo a lot of clothes, like all the kids' clothes from last year that they can't fit. Um, I posted that like on Facebook market to try to sell some of that stuff, get some money back. Um, but yeah, I thought I'm, I'm about to, I feel like I should just tell Mari what y'all think. I wish y'all could answer me only because she about to notice like me packing unless I just say it's me cleaning up. But I think I'm about to just tell her how she seen me. She already, she got to pee.
You got to use the bathroom? Talking to her. You got to use the bathroom? Oh, okay. Oh, I seen her dancing. I was just asking. Oh. <laughs> Something to tell you, Samaria. What is it? I'm vlogging for one. Can I say head to the vlog? No. Why not? I she eating her sandwich, y'all. From lunch. So, what do you think I have to tell you? Is there any guesses? If you could guess, what would the guess be? We're going to Disney? Oh, Disney? Yes. Not this time. We've been to Disney before. But I know you don't remember because you was like three. But no, we're not going to Disney. So what would be your next guess? The pool? The pool. You think I should tell you or you think it should be a surprise? No. You don't want to wait till it's a surprise? No. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. We are <laughs> We are moving You already knew, huh? Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Huh? You didn't know? All right, y'all. We are in the new house. Stop. I, I, no, no. We are in the living room right now. I'm trying to show y'all. There's no light in here. Okay, so we're going to go to the kitchen first. Walk through here. This is the kitchen. And then the other side is over here. So it's a nice wow. size kitchen. Back door. So a lot of cabinets. You come in here. This is a bedroom. This is a guy's room. This is a bedroom. I'm not sure if this is the master or what. Closet over there. There's fireworks in there. Yeah, mommy gonna clean it all up. Make sure this air is, yes, a hallway. Mom, this is my room. My room. This is the bathroom the fan comes from. Bathroom. And my room. And my I don't know room. why she thinks this is her room, but this is my room right here. Closet. These carpeting, these rooms, that's crazy. Then this is the other room. This is my room, my room, my room, my room. No girls allowed in my room. Closet. Yeah, yeah. there's spiders in there. Yep, and that is it, y'all. You forgot to show them the bathtub. It's okay. I'll show them when I'm cleaning it. So, yes, this is our new home. Yay! We're going to be in here. Mommy going to be in here cooking. Stop pushing me. Eli, stop. Yeah, so, as y'all can see, there's no blinds in none of these windows. I have to buy all these blinds. And I couldn't find no tape measure. And hey y'all, today is Sunday. I just wanted to check in with you guys. I haven't came back since I gave y'all the house tour. Nothing has really been going on. Um, I thought we was gonna move in here this weekend, but honey, mm -mm, it's not gonna happen this weekend. Probably sometime this week. Um, what's been going on the main reason we're not moving in here is because it is cold in here it's like 51 degrees it's hotter outside than it is in here um my gas was supposed to start on friday that's when the order was supposed to be done on friday which i put in like a week ago um it was supposed to be done on friday 
between the hours of eight to five. So about 4.30, I called them because it was cold this weekend. Like it's been cold, like 30 something degrees. So I didn't even want to bring the kids in the house, like, you know, for a long period of time because I don't want them to get sick. So, um, you know, I called them about 4.45, 4.30. And I was like, I just want to confirm that my gas is the service was started and she was like i don't see that it's active yet but i do see that the order is placed and i was like well do they work after five because it's about to be five like by the time i got through you know the prompts and stuff it was like 450 something so i'm like it's about to be five do they work after five and she was like yes they work after five they have to do all the orders for that day in order that they're placed like i said i did it a week ago so i was like okay um you know, I'm sitting there believing her, having hopes that it's going to be on. Friday comes and goes, gas not on. Saturday comes and goes, gas not on. Sunday today, the gas is not on. So I'm going to call them tomorrow right at 730 because I had to pay too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? And I told her that, you know, I had kids I needed on. That's why I did the service for the day that I needed it on. So that's the main reason we're not in here. And then secondly, the house. I would say it's cleaned, but not cleaned enough for my standards. Like the refrigerator, I'm gonna show y'all cause I'm gonna show y'all me cleaning it. But yeah, um, so I'm gonna clean it today. My brother is keeping my kids. Um, I'm going to clean it today. The thing, I was prolonging the cleaning because I didn't have any hot water. But I got my little hair kettle thing. Let me show y'all. So I can have some hot water so I could clean because I don't have time to keep, you know, sitting here wasting time. And then also what I'm going to do, I have to get this uh, full-size bed frame on this Buy Nothing group. Y'all should join the buy nothing groups in your, in your area. Um, people just give us away stuff they no longer want. So I'm picking up this full bed frame and I'm gonna try to fit in my car. I have an SUV, but I think it's gonna fit. But yeah, join the buy nothing groups. So yeah, y'all can get stuff. People just give away stuff they don't want. Like I got this whole box of cleaning supplies that nobody, that the lady didn't want anymore cause she said it's just been sitting in her cabin. I guess she didn't like the smells. Pine saw, like look at this full bottle almost like pine saw bleach full bottle like it's scotch guard if y'all watch dominique robinson she just moved um back on the east coast back to nc her and her family and um they just got a house in charlotte i love her i've been watching her art her um, oldest daughter Skylar and Mari is like a week apart. So I had found one of her pregnancy videos a while ago, like six years ago, because they're six now. And I've been watching her ever since, but she been scotch guarding everything. And guess what the lady gave me? Some scotch guard. So, yeah. But oh, let me do this Dollar Tree haul with y'all. I did go to Dollar Tree sometime last week. I didn't unbag anything because I knew I wanted to do this haul. Oh, and another thing, y'all, my mail, like, it's not coming or something, but I'll say that for another day. Dollar Tree haul got some dish cloths, cleaning cloths, because like I said, to clean. Got some gloves, a spray bottle. This was for my wig, but as y'all see, the wig is off. I sweated it off. I got some um, shower curtain things, and I do got the shower curtain, just a temporary one, because the one I want is off Amazon. But just a temporary one, I got that from Dollar Tree. The shower curtain and the liner, but it's in the car. I seen it fell out of the bed. But yeah, shower curtain stuff. Washcloths, y'all, look at these. Good quality, good quality. My skin is looking good. This was in the $5 section, but it's a 12 pack. Like, I feel like that was such a good deal. Some toupees for the kids. And then, y'all know Dollar Tree, since it became 125 Tree, um, they don't sell the mop and broom together. So I did get one stick, and then I got the mop head, and the broom head, and the dust pan. 
some bubble bath for the kids, some um, soap pads, some dish liquid, some hand soap. Like I said, the mop head, the mop bucket. I got some toothpaste. I don't see it right here. I got some. Oh, here it is. Got me some toothpaste. And um, I think that's all I got from Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 Tree. I spent like $30 in there, y'all. I've never done that. And then something else from the Buy Nothing group. I got a bag of different cups and tumblers and stuff. Y'all know it's getting cold here, so just give them a look. And then let me show y'all. I also got. Uh, 12 yeah I think it's a 12 set plates she was giving them away they're like clear but like black clear if that makes sense just giving them away but yeah um, like I said I gotta go get this bed at 1 o'clock so I'm about to go ahead and bring in everything I got in the back of my trunk right now and um Y'all probably set the camera up to show y'all me bring this stuff in. It's just me because I'm an independent woman. Set y'all up and I'm a time lapse it. But yeah. Oh, and I got some blinds too. Oh, let me show y'all. Let me flip the camera. Well, I'm gonna just do it like this. This desk, y'all. I got this for work. I do have one in my storage, but it's big. And this house don't have a lot of storage, so I'm not trying to like bring a bunch of cluttered junk stuff, so I'm probably gonna sell that desk, um, cause it's long. But I got this off Facebook Market for $10, y'all, $10. It's a lean to it, but she said she usually just puts a coaster under it. But yeah, and let me see, I don't think I got nothing. I've been selling a lot of stuff on Marketplace too. Um. Why is this door closed? Yeah, I've been selling a lot of stuff on Marketplace. Um, I sold some shoes and stuff like that. And then I think I told y'all this house don't have any blinds. So I bought some blinds. Um, a lot of the windows are the same size. And I think I bought four. I got it in my notes. But the Walmart, they didn't have all the sizes. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set y'all up. So y'all can see me bring in all of this stuff. So, yeah. But nobody's gonna make you change what you promise. Don't like anyway, but you done it. So you might as well. Somebody.
I'm gonna get the pink stuff off Amazon because it's like some I don't know if it's soap scum or it's I don't know it's something in there that I feel like com can come off so I think I'm gonna get the pink stuff for the tub but I cleaned that and I mopped um like I said I mopped the dining in the kitchen the living room in the hallway I'm gonna mop again um in a few days but just to get up a lot of this trash and dust and baby dad water was black do you hear me so i also need to get a vacuum because the bedrooms have carpet and i can only imagine you know what's in that carpet because the floors looked clean but there they weren't the carpet looks clean but i'm sure it's not so um i'm still waiting on the address for the bed frame they said around 1 o'clock, it's like 1.30, so I'm still waiting on them to send me the address for that. But I'm glad, like, I got a lot of this stuff cleaned. Um, I'm about to attempt to put up blinds. I suck at putting up blinds, and I think I might need a hammer. And then those windows are tall, but I'm going to stand on this table. I got this table, too, from the Buy Nothing group, but I think I'm going to give it away because I was going to use this. Um, so temporarily work on that's when I thought I was going to be moved in by this weekend so I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because I don't I don't think I need it because I got that desk back there so I'm probably going to stand on this to reach the top of the blinds um, I mean the top of the windows to put the blinds up and then um, I think that's really all I'm going to do today to, I'm going to just go and pack the rest of our stuff but yeah, I think this is all I am going to do. Um, try to put these blinds up. Yeah, I just wanted to try to get like, you know, the floor and the refrigerator and stuff clean. And then the next thing that I really need to clean is like the cabinets. Um, wipe out all the cabinets. Oh, another thing y'all in the bathroom. I don't know. I don't know if they do a move out clean, you know, I don't know. Because I opened up one of the drawers, whole bunch of toothbrushes, like, had to be like 10 toothbrushes. Opened up the second drawer, whole drawer full of beads. So, yeah, I don't know. So, yeah, I'm about to attempt to put up these blinds so it could look like somebody live here at least and wait on this address. And after I get done putting the blinds, if they still send the address, I'm gonna text them like, hey, is it, are we still good? Cause I mean, I really do want that bed frame, but you know, if all else fails, the one on, the one in my Amazon car, I think is $60. So I get that from Marty Pool. And she go, this weekend she go with her dad. So I told her, you know, when she comes back on Monday, we should be fully moved in and furnished. So, yeah. Let me show y'all my kettle thing, because, baby, this been coming in handy. This water gets piping hot. Look at it boiling. If y'all do hair, get y'all one of these. But it's really for tea. So, on Amazon, put in a tea kettle, electric tea kettle, and y'all find it. But, yes, I love the lighting in here. I just can't wait for the vlogs, y'all. Like, I'm really about to get in my bag. And I can't wait for this grocery shopping haul. I'm going to go to all... Audi. 
Now this lady, let me see what she doing. I'm trying to see who my neighbors is. Oh, I think she parked over there. But yeah, let me tell y'all about the mail real quick. So, you know, I got the informed delivery. That's where they take a picture of the mail and they send it to your email. So before you get it, you kind of know what you're getting. So I'm getting pictures for all the mail. And every time I check the mailbox, there's no mail in there. So I'm like, okay, you know, what's, what's going on? I don't know. So I think I'm gonna have to go to the post office. I'm like, you know, maybe the mail, um, maybe the mail carrier isn't putting the mail in there because it don't look like nobody live here. Like, you know, if it's the same mail carrier, this is their route, been their route for years, they kind of know. I don't know. But baby, I need my mail. So I'm gonna call the post office tomorrow. But yeah, here's the blinds. Y'all see me carry these in. I spent $40 on four blinds. But yeah. Oh! Okay, let me set y'all up. Let me get this together. I think I need a hammer. But yeah. All right, y'all. So I got it. The dresser, the bed. And they gave me all the screws. So now I'm about to go on. Do I, I don't feel like moving this in the house right now. I'm about to go home because I'm closer to the old house before I get to the new house. So I probably just move this tonight. But yeah, um, and they helped me load it up. Look at this. I got to lose some weight. They helped me load it up. So yeah, appreciative for that. So my baby got a bed. It looks good. I see it like some stickers on there, but baby, she just don't add to them. So it ain't even no nothing crazy. But yeah, so that's what we about to do. We about to go home because it's like three something. And I'm about to go spend some time with my kids because it's the weekend. Hey, y'all. I turned the light. Oh, maybe I should turn this one on. Oh, there we go. Let me see. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, today is Monday. Um, and, yeah, I'm about to go get Mari from school. My trunk is full. Y'all can't even see. My car is packed to capacity. I got my work computer, everything. Um, because tonight is going to be the first night of us staying in the house. This wasn't my plan. Um, like I told y'all, about the heat so i called them i called the gas company this morning and they said it should already be heat there something about you have to light the pilot or something um so i put in a maintenance request so they'll be here in the morning to do that i didn't really want to stay in the house without any heat or anything but yeah plans change so we'll be staying there tonight um I am going to go buy a heater off Marketplace for $20. So I'm at the ATM now. Look at this line. Yeah, see. It's wrapped around. I'm at the ATM now so I can get cash because I never have cash. And then I'm going to go get Mari from school. And then we're going to Walmart so I can get something for them to eat tonight and an air mattress. And stuff for her lunches. I wonder where's her lunchbox. OMG. I think I know where it's at. But yeah, so today has just been, <sighs> today has been a day. A day has been had, but you know, at the end of the day, the day gonna end and we gonna, we get a new day tomorrow. So yeah, we're staying at the house tonight. Woo, 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 woo. Um, I first meal y'all in the new house. So let me show y'all my clothes. Let me show y'all my clothes. I didn't show me cooking it, y'all, because I mean, the, the whole setup was ghetto. But first meal, yes. And then I'm going to show y'all what I got from Roses for the kids to eat on for right now. So, yeah. And then they got their juices. All right, y'all. Welcome back. Today is Friday. It's Veterans Day. I don't know what's the last thing I came in here and showed y'all. But I finally put the blinds up, y'all. Finally put them up, so it looks like somebody lives here now. Let me show y'all the 
other one I put in. As you can see, we still missing some. I only put these three up because this is the front of the house. So now they actually look like somebody lives here. So I still got two, three, four, four of these size. And then I got this one, two of these. So I'm gonna just get them as I can, y'all, because these blondes, this is two separate ones. It's like $6 a piece. And then these are $10. So baby, I'm just gonna get them as I can. And there's nothing spectacular, just the brand, Walmart. Nothing spectacular, spectacular. So today we're gonna go grocery shopping. Mari left with her dad. So me and Eli's gonna go grocery shopping. So we could bring some food in here to make it. I'm trying to make it home. And then also this is the living room. <sighs> Bags of clothes, toys, hangers. I'm just gonna get all this stuff, all this stuff together. Um, oh, I did put the shower curtain up. Let me show y'all that. Shower curtain is up. I don't like it. This is a little cheap one off from, uh, from Dollar Tree. Um, I've been looking at some on like Amazon and stuff, but I haven't found one that I like because I don't know how I want to do the bathroom in here. Like I don't know what color or anything. My kitchen is going to be pink. The living room, my sectional that's in storage is gray. So whenever I get that, but the kitchen is mostly going to be, I mean, the living room is going to be gray. And then, you know, with gray, I could throw in splashes of color. But yeah, Elias is asleep right now. Oh, let me show y'all how I split. Oh, y'all probably can't see. Let me see. How I split my finger doing the blinds. It's not focusing. But anyway. Hey, y'all. So back with the grocery haul. We went to Aldi because everybody on TikTok is, um, you know, showing how inexpensive Aldi is. I can't find my tripod so y'all in the cabinet. So let me get these bags. I'll tell y'all, I spent $58. So y'all gonna see everything. We got some bacon. I do all the meat first. Some thin cut chicken breast. I think I'm gonna make Alfredo. I'm already been asking for that. We got some sausage. A pack of drumsticks. Um, yeah, that's all I need. Some apples. My kids love fruit. Juice. This is like their minute made. Um, I got two of those. I got some apple juice. I got a 24 pack of water. That's funny. Oh, don't fall. Then I got some barbecue chips. My kids love chips, especially Elias. Got some bagels. Some corn. Some pasta noodles. Like I said, for the Alfredo. Went ahead and got Alfredo sauce. I usually like to make it homemade, but y'all, we still get acclimated, so two cans of that. We got some muffins. These are supposed to be their little bites. Here's the other juice I got. So I got a Tropicana and then I got a fruit punch. Got some olive oil. I got some um Italian style cheese, this Parmesan, mozzarella, provolone, some cheese for the Alfredo. Then, got some noodles, cause my kids, they always hungry, like all the time. Like I could sit, wake up, make them breakfast, then they want a snack after breakfast. Then they want lunch. Then they want a snack after that. Then it's dinner and a whole bunch of other snacks. So for one of their snacks or something, got them some noodles. Got some Hawaiian rolls. And I got some grapes. These are great. Do y'all see how big these are? Grape season kind of ended, so I was a little hesitant about. I, that's why I only got this small little pack because I don't know if they're gonna be good or not. 
And I think that is everything we got. Yeah, so all of that I spent $58 on. That's not a bad deal. I'm about to start shopping at all. And I got like three meals, three dinner meals, a lot of breakfast meals. Like that's not bad at all. Cause groceries and everything is so high. So you just gotta get the best for your book with everything. I use Fetch. That's a um coupon, not a couponing. You scan your receipts and it gives you rewards. And with those reward points, you could cash out for gift cards. So I've already got like an Amazon gift card. You get Visa gift cards. And you can scan any receipt. So I already do that. And I'm trying to get into Ibotta. El Beta? No, it's, I think it's Ibotta. I download. I'm still trying to learn that. I think with that, you have to like clip clip the rewards that with that you get like cash back you gotta clip the rewards before you actually go to the store so i'm still trying to learn that and see what stores is better but for now i like scanning the receipts that is kind of what works for me because you can scan it from anywhere paper receipts and like you can scan from like if you shop online a lot but yeah i just want to come on here do this grocery haul with y'all i'm about to put it back uh i mean i'm about to put it up now and then, I don't know if I should end this vlog. Tomorrow is Sunday. I don't know. So, if, if this is the end of the vlog, thank you guys for watching. My son right here, he, he never too far. Thank you guys for watching um, this video. And, yeah, stay tuned for the next one as we get settled. Y'all see it's so empty back here. But yeah, I just need to, all of this stuff needs to go up. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Subscribe, hit the like button, comment down below. And also I have my TikTok in the description box to where I show the prices for all these items because I made a TikTok too. So I'm in my content bag, y'all. So yes, I'll see you guys in the next video. And like I said, if this isn't the end of the video, y'all wouldn't see this. But if it is, I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.